Uh, moving on this morning, NASA has long dreamed of sending people to Mars and now it's about to embark on one of the most daring tests of strength. Four volunteers about to be locked away for more than a year in a tiny 3D printed home to simulate life on the red planet. Swaying with the tunes this morning, we've got some bangers. Uh, US correspondent Jonathan Kersley travelled to NASA's Houston headquarters to see for himself what's in store. Welcome to life on Mars. Well, almost. This is NASA's extraordinary human experiment, preparing people to one day set foot on the Martian planet. This red, dusty landscape is intended to simulate life on the red planet. Priority for NASA right now is to land the first humans on Mars, and Chapia is a really important stepping stone to get us there. Sending man to Mars has been a Hollywood screenwriter's dream. This will come as quite a shock to my crewmates, and to NASA, and to the entire world but I'm still alive. But inside NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, this small facility is about to be home to four volunteers taking part in the ultimate human experiment, locked away for over a year, all in the name of science. Earth sustains life fairly easily, but the Martian surface doesn't. So we need the crew to survive and thrive in these unusual circumstances. This is known as CHAPIA, or the Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog. It's a 1,700 square foot 3D printed building, complete with bedrooms, a lounge, dining room and kitchen, where real life issues of limited food and water supply will be tested. Tell me the science behind keeping people nutritional, well-fed and well-looked after for 378 days of isolation. And, uh, you, you hit it on the head. I mean, it, way, knowing whether or not we can feed people for that long a period of time on a limited food system that repeats itself, menu fatigue is a big concern. Also under close watch by NASA's experts, the mental strength and stamina of the soon-to-be-named crew to try to understand how the physiology changed in this environment, how stress affected things, um, how dietary intake affected uh, their performance, behavior, and, and success. Keeping the volunteers healthy will be a priority. How do they keep themselves fed? How do you have supplies here? How do they get food? Uh, most of the food, as on a typical Mars mission, will be pre-positioned. Mm -hmm. So the food is a lot like we use on Space Station. It's a little bit better than that. Uh, it's what we call an exploration food system, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of it is rehydratable, uh, what we call thermostabilized, sort of the pouches of food that you can warm up um, and you just eat it. So then we go on to Mars, so welcome to the Martian surface. Welcome, You're welcome, welcome to, to walk Mars. throughout Mars. Even simple things like communication is going to take time. NASA will be testing what scientists believe is the communications delay between Earth and Mars. Sending a message there could take anywhere between 12 to 22 minutes. The reply to mission control could take the same. Think about that for a moment. We won't even know if a crew has safely landed on Mars until 22 minutes after it has occurred. So this is what the four volunteers will experience for a little more than a year, the simulation of life on the Martian planet all in the hope of learning more for an extraordinary mission to where no person has gone before. NASA has its sights set on a manned journey to Mars next decade. For now, living on the red planet is the stuff of fiction. He's going to starve to death long before we can help. So I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. He's 50 million miles away from home. He's totally alone. What the hell is he thinking right now? I am the greatest botanist on this planet. But the dream is it could become a reality. And in October, the next crucial test begins. Can humanity eventually take one giant leap? It's palpable. What a cool human experiment. Do you think they'll be wearing those little blue booties on Mars? <laughs> or is that just for 
I, th I think they might step up the style once. Just the, to protect his RMs. Fashion aside at the moment, they've just got to focus on the mission at hand. <laughs> and getting